decimal. 0 0.662, 682. Now, what is this as a percent? This is what? 68.2%. So what it means is that 68.2% of the passengers aboard the Titanic did not survive. It. 68.2. Okay. Now, I want to show you something that you may think is not necessary. You're going to look at this and go, I really don't need to know this, or I don't really need to use this. But the truth is, you do. And I'm going to show it to you or derive this formula. Um, it's called the complement rule for probability. But you want to get used to using it because in order to answer certain probability questions in the future, this is the only way you can do it. So although, like the or scenario, you could have answered it using that in the future, it's going to be harder to do. So let me give you a fact called the complement rule. for counting, meaning if I look at a Venn diagram again, okay, and I call this set E, and I count or let all these people be inside region E, what would these people be in? What region are these people in? What would you guys say? The people in red. Good. They're what? They're not in E. Good. They're in the complement. Is that true? OK, these are people not in E. So if I count the number of people that are in E plus the number of people that what? are not in E, that are in the complement, what should that equal? The total, is that true? If these are events, it's the total in the sample space. The number of outcomes that are in E plus the number of outcomes that are not in E, well, that equals the total number of outcomes in the sample space. You guys agree with that? OK, good. Now again, I'm going to use algebra. Meaning, I'm going to divide both sides by n of s. So on the left, what you get is n of s is at, uh, dividing the sum of two terms, which means n of s is dividing each individual term. Is that right? Now, what do you get from this relationship? Do you guys recognize this definition? What is this? This is P of E plus P of E complement is, what's N of S divided by N of S? 1. So here's what's going on. This numerator relationship is the complement rule for counting. I have derived for you the complement rule. for probability. This is again tattoo time. So if you're thinking of getting a tattoo, I would say get this tattoo. The probability of an event plus the probability of its complement is the value 1. Okay, This is what this fact is. However, what you probably will use is this variation, meaning probability of an event plus the probability of its complement is 1. If I now subtract P of E from both sides, what I get is the probability of the complement of an event is 1 minus the probability of the event. I can use this relationship. This is probably the most useful form or the one that you'll directly use. Similarly, I could have subtracted, if I wanted, the probability of 
the complement from both sides. And on the left, I'm left with P of E is 1 minus the probability of its complement. Okay? So altogether, this relationship, this relationship, and this relationship, they're all equivalent. But this is the one you'll use. For example, here, back in the Titanic, the previous scenario, the previous question, question two, the probability you did not survive. Can I write it this way with that line on top? Doesn't it mean not or non? Right? Isn't that what it means? That line? Not or non? Okay, you guys know what that means? That's 1 minus what? Do you guys see it here? Probability of the complement of an event is 1 minus the probability of the what? Of the event. You okay with that? You guys see what I mean? So, this is how you use it. If you can tell me the probability of surviving, I can tell you the probability of not surviving. What's the probability of surviving? Didn't we compute that in question one? Which was what? Well, you can say it's 0 0.318. This was already computed in question one. So then what's the complement of that, of that event? Not surviving. What's the probability of the complement? 1 minus 0 0.318. What is 1 minus 0 0.318? What is it? 0 0.682. Isn't that what you got already by using the definition of probability? So this is 0 0.682. Again, this is not surviving. This is the complement of the event surviving. So the relationship between E and E complement, they're complements. Okay? These are complements of one another. All right, you guys okay with this? You want to get used to using this formula. Okay, because it'll help you with some of the things later on. Now, take a look at question um, three. What's the probability? It's a straight probability question. It's a probability that a... What's the question? You select a passenger. What's the probability the passenger's a boy? What's your definition? What's the definition? You guys have to tell me. What is it? Probabil no, question three is what's the probability that you se you're selecting passengers from that list? What's the probability it's a boy? You have, to, you have to determine two values. What is it? It's the number of what? Boys divided by the number of passengers. How many boys are there? How many passengers? What is this value? Point what? Point zero two nine. What's this as a percent? Two point nine percent. Meaning that two point nine percent of the passengers were boys. Next question. What is the question for number four? Not a boy. What's the probability of selecting a non-boy? Right? Isn't that complement of boy? What does it mean?